Yeah, well, man, D. Cool TV. Oh, welcome, Good welcome, day. man. Welcome, man. I got two. Exactly. I got two brothers that I know for. I ain't gonna talk my age, but four decades. <laughs> That's a fact. That's I a know fact. both of these guys for four decades, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, thank God for the winter of 77. If you catch it, you catch it. If you don't, you don't. We got, you know what I mean? Not new, not shy, you know, family to the show. Ego. Hey, that's right. And then we got family, you know what I'm saying? Just family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Period, to yeah. the left. Yeah. No. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Hey. Welcome, man. What's good, bro? Welcome thanks for cool, having me. Welcome to Cool TV, man. Word, thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Word, it was a man. pleasure. Oh, pleasure, man. Man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Word, word. So how you been? Everything been well, bro. I can't complain, man. Just, you know, working hard, staying out of the way. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Word, word. I got you. And, um, you know, I want to shout you out, man, on your business. You know what I'm saying? You got that, that beautiful fish and grits going oh, on. Oh, the fish and grits. Yeah. yeah. Come to Stanley. Yeah. Stanley 801 Stanley. So that's just like the virtual wear. Yeah. It's like the virtual wear I laid it down. Come to 801 Stanley Avenue. <laughs> Off the hook, fish and grits. You know oh, what I mean? Man. It's like the virtual wear I laid that down. That time was perfect. Wow. It was good. No cue cause of nothing. Easy. Yeah. Hey, go! You over there? You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> your eyes speak for themselves. Yeah, but yeah, you, yeah. yeah. You know, we got the dispensary over there on um, 8264 Austin Street. Okay, that's um, a fair. Tribe of Dreams. Tribe of Dreams. Yeah. yeah. We don't only. It ain't all about the flowers. We got a lot of products that can help people. We got CD products. We got face masks. CD mm -hmm. foot foot things for the foot. So, you know, we, we got a multiple things. We got gummies, we got food. We got stuff stuff for the pets. <laughs> right. We got that stuff if you can't sleep. Yeah. So it's it's just not about we. It's about overall things that can help the human body. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so, man. Yeah. Well listen man, coming from where we from, which is uh two four nine Hopkins and Avenue, right? Yes, sir. I think, right. You know, we we original, we original. We, yeah, original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we ain't that Thomas yeah, Boyden, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was we was around Hopkins and Avenue. Come on, we come from when they say we can't do nothing. We wasn't supposed to do nothing. Huh? Where we come from, they say we wasn't supposed to do nothing. We were supposed to just be in the hood all day and we were supposed to be sneezed out. We come from Brownsville, Brooklyn, where it's rough. You know what I mean? Even though it's at the top of the hill, it still was a struggle. You know what I mean? And thank God. They said we wasn't supposed to make it past 25. You know what I mean? Well, you're at 25? Mm. Man, it was 25 when I had yeah, I, thought, I thought it was 21. Mm. I thought it was 21. It was 21 in the 80s. We getting slow. We getting slow. It was <laughs> deadly back then. It was <laughs> deadly, bro. Yeah, it was tough. Wow. Oh, man. So, um, Ego, you know what I mean? I remember back in the days, you would come every summer. Right. Yeah. And so in the 80s, you would come in the summer, you would visit your right. pops. I'm originally yeah. from Florida. Right. And I used to come every summer, spend with my pops for a couple of months, and mm -hmm. then I used to go back home. I did that for about, since I was about six. Right. So I was coming back and forth until I was about six, and then when I turned about 12, I decided to stay. Right. Right. Yeah. I remember I remember when he it's stayed. Up. Let's no, turn it off. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hold on, but I, it was different. Hey, yo, mm -hmm. I remember when he stayed, though. He stayed in 90, 1990. Yeah, that's what he said. Because him and him and L was scrimp, but well, it was play fight. There was play fight. And him and L was the first two with the Reebok Punks. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they, they were scrambling in front of the building after school with the white joints with, with the basketball ball. Yeah, uh, L yeah. had the white and green ones. Yeah, yeah. And I had the black ones. It, no, you had the all white. I, I had the all white. Yeah. And L had the black ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had the white and green one. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, that's when we was playing on the um, softball team, on Sunny softball team. Yeah, 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 yeah. athletics. The yeah, athletics. <laughs> Sunny was the truth. That was like one yeah. of, the, one of the, the dedicated pops in the, in, in the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, underground dads. Mm -hmm. Underground dads like him, Dixon. They, they really contributed, you know what I mean? To everybody broke the belt. That's a fact. Yeah. We came with bags, balls, and yeah. gloves. They taught us we about economics them. early. Economics, yeah. We were about seven, eight. True <laughs> <laughs> story, man. You know? Know. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'll have the interview, bro. You got AI. You got AI. Yeah. Oh, man. So uh, yeah. hey, he hey, was gambling hey. the biters. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. man, nah, they wasn't gambling with us, but you know, since young, 
we learned about economics. He taught us a lot. That family did a lot for us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout, shout out to the X. Shout out to the X. Shout out to L. Shout out to E. Yeah, shout out to P. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Sunny. You know, Sunny, absolutely. They did absolutely. a whole lot for us, man. You know, they did like a real lot for us. That's a fact. You guys, you guys. Right. Remember we used to be in the back, man? Coco Lidio. Coco Lidio. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or, yeah. Um, round up. Round up. Yeah. Yeah. Leave you around up. Yeah, remember we used to have our own shout out to 216, Kevin, and we used to have our own football league. <laughs> Man, we used to rush home from eighth grade and rush to get back to that for that, that football league. And pop. Pop, yeah. pop, pop, pop. Pop. Pop had the arm. Yeah. 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 Pop, they always yeah. They, 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 they always don't have the illy illy Me, play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. chili. Chili. Yeah. Hello. 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 Antoine. Shorty Pack. Antoine. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Most of all, yeah. before we, Shorty West. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Before we got into the midst of discovery and got into crime, we was really yeah. like kids. Yeah. We, used to, we used to play hide and go ski in the building. <laughs> Real niggas run up and oh. knock on niggas' doors. Yeah. That's That's a fact. Fact. When, That's it, a fact. when it rained, you played round up in the building. Yeah. yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out all. Check that out all. Yeah. Niggas hiding in the incinerator. Yo, yeah. Yo, that shit used to be fun. It, but yo, that shit used to be tired, but it kept me shaking. We used to run all the way to Twitter. That nigga's going on the Twitter. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Last man downstairs getting fucked up. Hey, my friend. Corners. Corners in the elevator. Corners. 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 Everybody was in the corner. That was a deadly one. Yeah, that was a deadly one. That's a fact. Oh, that was real back then, bro. Yeah, we, we really had a, a decent childhood coming we had out. Pool we had in the back. Pool. Oh, man. The pool, man. Shot. Yo, everybody in the neighborhood <laughs> hates 249. You always run down our pool and try to steal our sneakers, <laughs> steal <laughs> our hats. <laughs> we had a And our arch enemies was always hurting. Them boys, always, always. <laughs> from, day, from, from day one, they couldn't stand us because we had a pool. They felt like we was the, the, the privileged kids, but lo and they know we were struggling just like them. Mm. We went through everything they went through, plus more, probably. Mm. I, was at a house. <laughs> I ain't a friend, but I said, call it, call it, call it a house. Like, yeah. Yeah, they had to hurt them. Like, this is my guy. Yeah. Look at this neighborhood shit, though, bro. So, yo, remember Jalon? Shout out to Jalon. Yo, we went to I don't know what, I don't know what they like. <laughs> yeah, we went to Long Moon, he rocked the pool party. Yeah, Deron. Deron. Yeah, 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 that was my nigga. Yeah, because Jalon behind the camera. No, Deron. I mean, Deron. <laughs> that was my nigga. I remember he had the U uh, commercial. Oh, the King Hamlet? Yo, remember yeah. all, all, all four of us was in the home? We was the, we rocked the pool party with him. Yeah. He was rapping, we, did, we, we, was yeah. on our, we was on our scrapping school shit. And he did it to the, uh, I never do the time I want to go. He did that, he killed it. He was like, where are, he said, when I say, where are we? He said, yeah. Atlantic Towers, where are we? Atlantic Towers. That's a fact, he did, he killed it. Yeah. We had a lot, man, a lot of good times, man. A lot of great times. And then I, I feel like when the 90s came, you know, everybody had to make decisions. We was getting older, you know what I'm saying? We was getting older, some good, some bad, but you know what I mean? It was just uh, the mix of the scumble. But I know I moved in 91. And when I moved, I still had family in the building. You know, I still had my grandpops. I still had life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I still always had, I know two cribs I could just come back and go to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's home for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mara, but, um, both of you guys are entrepreneurs, man. Let, let's um let's get into, you know what I mean? I'm gonna set it up. No, how'd you even come up with the idea to open up fishing grits in was, East New York, being okay. from Brownsville? Yeah, I'll tell you the story. When I was uh when I when I was um young, I'm a future future hit me with a round before it. He was like, yo, um, as long as we eat together or something like that. He said, uh, it ain't it ain't it ain't nothing for us to break bread and eat together. But if you get a restaurant, you're gonna eat forever. So that stuck in my head. That stuck in my head. So when I came home, I went there with Wise, his pops, his cousin Luki, and we all got together and said we could do it. And the rest of the history, like mm -hmm. I've been, I've been at it for about a year, a year and some change now. Okay. So Diego coming through with the, the expertise and the so I ain't gonna lie, bro, he's a genius. Yeah, he's a marketing genius. He, he know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So he gonna come in there. He gonna come in there and. and Put the sauce together. Now we got the best sauces in Brooklyn. 
801 Stanley Avenue, no, okay. no cap. 801 mm -hmm. Stanley Avenue. Brooklyn, New York. And what, what, besides fish and grits, what else can we get in there in that Anything. secret sauce? Basa, catfish, you get sauce. You want to explain yourself? Uh, you can get burgers, lemon pepper yeah. wings. All sauces on the wings. Barbecue, shrimp. Triple mix. You can get steamed food. So everything in there, I can get fried. Mm. I can get a lot of good eats, bro. Good okay. eats. Well, so right. for anyone out there steamed that you don't fried food, you want some good steamed food, you can come to Black Home and Get yourself some steam food with some good sides. You know, usually when you go to you steam spots, good sides. usually when you go to steam spots, you can only get rice, yeah. broccoli, or corn. But if you come to 801 Stanley, you can get some good mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah if you don't got good sides, food. bro, right. you got a meal. Mm. Right. And you got the sauces, the kick here, the sauces. I mean, well, yo, Sweet and, chili. Ava was no stranger to um, restaurants. He had nah, for yeah. six years. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. ran the league. Right, right. Five oh, star fish. Oh, yeah, five star fish. Family in Pennsylvania. Right. right. Five, five star fish. Yeah. 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 Six and Six years he ran the league. The Taste of Miami. Yeah. The Taste of Miami. That was yeah. 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 He brought the triple big over. Florida. So now. Yeah. No, no, no. Go back to Florida. I was coming from Florida, you know. We have a certain way of eating, you know what I mean? So, you know, I just tried to bring that flavor to New York, you know what I'm saying? Where, you know, New York City, they're not really used to seasoning stuff. They're not usually used to sauces. Oh, they just used good. to getting things. That, that my experience has been in New <laughs> York City. Because I go to a lot of restaurants and I don't see a lot of restaurants that's providing sauces. I see you can go to most uh, soul food spots, you're going to get a fish, but you, I can't get barbecue shrimp there. I can't get lemon pepper shrimp there. I can't get sweet and chili shrimp there. So I think that's what we're going to bring to the game, the diversity of, you know what I mean, giving you something different than the norm. Mm. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, that New York thing you said, he left it when he got calling guests. <laughs> he had calling guests, all the people from New York would be like, what? get this guy out of here. What are you talking about? about? <laughs> all right, so we don't got flavor. What to go to it. What's the top five restaurants in New York that you know about right now? Right now. That he know about? Now, I know yeah. about top five. I'm going to go with the Julon Kitchen. Mm. What they yeah. serve there? Asian. That's, okay, we're talking about soul food. Talking soul food? About, yeah, I'm right, soul, soul food. food. Hold on, hold on. Soul food. I'm going to go with the Royal Rib House right there on Malcolm X between Hancock and Halsey. I never tried there. Yeah, they got their own sauce, barbecue sauce. They sell it in Star City. They um, And mm. what's that? Is that the, the supermarket right there? Which one? The big one in Star City. What's that called? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, so that's not associated. It's something. I yeah, know, I think I, it's like associates. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's called Calvin's, dude. Mm. Serious mm. business, but I'm surprised y'all ain't eat it because that was around since the '70s. So it used to be on Halsey and True. Oh, really? Yeah. So they moved to um, Malcolm X between Halsey and Hancock. I gotta right. check them out. Yeah, they got barbecue ribs, barbecue chicken, cat food, fish, peach cobbler, yams, greens, yeah, mac and cheese. You name it. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> serious? But they so serious. They only open like three three days a week. That's how good they are. Three days a week. That's it. Yeah, Mile yeah. around the corner, all that. Really? Yeah. Thank me later. What's up, my? With uh, yeah, he said name five. Yeah, that's name one. Five, bro. No name five. That's one. That's one. That's what you made five soul food restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Soul food, but I go there. Another soul food spot, I want to say in Harlem. Nah, that's overrated. That's not that's overrated. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sylvia is down that jacket. Nah. nah. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, look. Oh, oh, what, you could possibly <laughs> say, what you could possibly say is maybe oh, best stop. Oh. Best, best I could put like That's what I'm saying. So. That's what I'm saying when I'm saying New York City is not used to really okay. good southern okay. food. They're okay. not, you, you mean, most food you get in Spanish. But well, we remember every other around the way really we used to have food. the country kitchen. Yeah, but well, how Sarah long ago was that? Huh? How long ago was that? That was yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, so that, that ham sandwich. Right, was different. Harlem used to be good for that. Now another good spot is um, Lighthouse. Now I ain't gonna lie, Lighthouse is really good and they do their thing uh, up in up in um, Harlem. They do their thing. Lighthouse is pretty good. Lighthouse is good. Yeah, but, but besides that, it's down. Soul yeah, food is steam. down in New York. Mm. You know what I mean? Everybody going to a steam food, healthy yeah. living, juicing. Or, or some any other yeah. ethnic group but ours. We eating with yeah. everybody else. We eating with Spanish, we eating Jamaicans, we eating Thai food, Asian, all this crazy stuff. But nobody's eating with the soul man, the soul brother. Mm. 
what we used to. Them, yeah, you see what I mean? So when you come by off the hooks, for all those that are tree, you're gonna get that southern taste with okay. the yams and that good mac mm -hmm. and that good lemon pepper chicken and barbecue shrimp. You see what I'm saying? With them good southern style grits, you know the creamy joints. I'm pulling up. Say that. Yeah, pull up. I'm pulling up. Yeah. Okay, so it's, oh, yeah. It's under new management now. It's under new oh, management. Oh, under new management. Okay, yeah. all right. 40 sold it to, uh, some soul, bro. <laughs> his name, Anonymous. We sold it to Mr. Anonymous. Okay. So all you people trying to run down on 40, leave him alone. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love the peace. Got you, got you, got you. All right, all right, cool. So your ego, man, um, definitely got to say, man, you're one of the most charismatic fellas that I've met in my life. And you came to New York in 1990. And then in the 90s, you got guys from New York talking like you. Yeah. <laughs> he started yeah, his own yeah, thing. Yeah, still doing it. Yeah, still doing to it. This day. To, to this day. day. To this day. How does that happen, though, bro? Break that down, man. Yo, sometimes we sit back thinking about that. Like, yo, it's just crazy. I, I, just, I guess it's just a style other than what people from Brooklyn is used to seeing. You know, people from Brooklyn are used to seeing people thugging, yeah. you know what I mean? But not thugging and having a personality with it, you feel what I'm saying? And that's how I always been, man. I always had a certain style about me. I always had a certain personality, like where, I, where like you said, I'm something like Richard Pryor, where I'm funny when I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> that's a fact. Yo, I'm yeah. trying to, I see, yo, you got that text I sent you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I told you to watch the documentary? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. I ain't watching it. Playing, man. It's, it's a documentary, right? I sent it to him. It's on my phone, right? I'm gonna tell you right now. I sent it to Ego, and I said, yo, bro, you gotta watch this. And it's called Omit the Logic. Omit the Logic, man. And Omit. break down how, like, what you were talking about before we got on um, camera, no? Turning, some, turning nothing into something. And getting the bag for it, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you watch it, he had a, there's a scene where one of the producers, black guy, was mm -hmm. talking because Richard had passed. So you know they doing this as he passed away, mm -hmm. but they just showing you his clips. And he said it was in a, it was in a the mansion, right? Mm -hmm. And him and Richard was upstairs, and Richard said, "Look outside." Wow, and when you looked outside, you seen a bunch of white yeah, guys the sitting by the pool. And he know. said, "Look at them." Look how they lined up just to talk to me. For being me, though. Raw. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Turning nothing into something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's the vibe I get every time I'm around. It's like, even yeah. he pissed me off. He's a leprechaun. <laughs> he's a leprechaun. <laughs> right? Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Because Ego Man, he's always, he was moving and moving. You know what I'm saying? Bag. You right? know what's so crazy, though? Because. I was one of your biggest hecklers. Yeah, go there. I was one of your biggest hecklers coming up, you know what I mean? Because As far as? As far as with basketball. Right. You know, you always my brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? No matter how much I hecked you, because you had a different style of what you did. You know, right. we were used to guys with hand dudes and flashing it. You was just straight to the point with buckets. Right. And I remember I'm always heckling. You always heckling. Yo, 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 you ain't good. You ain't bad. I'm better than you. I can take you. You know, as kids, we all we can go to We gotta go play one on ones. We gotta <laughs> do this. But in '98, you did something that none of us, and I don't think nobody from my building, from our generation, did. You made honorable mention in the Daily News, That's and you also went to a PSL championship in the Garden. That's a fact. Can you briefly take us on That's that? Because I was one of your biggest haters. <laughs> Even after that, I still was, I, I was still <laughs> hating on the low. Hey, kid, you. <laughs> when well, you had to keep showing me the well, moves all the way up the dirt, right? <laughs> so you see this jacket? This is this is all. Well, you got to you got to bring it out. And uh, pass it. Yeah. So, can you make sure we get? So, see the jacket? Right? So, what are the all facts, all earned? Yeah. Not given, not made up. You can Google all of this. Right? All of this. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. So, I was all Manhattan Daily News first team. Right? Yeah. And all city honorable mention Daily News. Right. But all city. New York Post. See, every every newspaper back then rated you different. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
So MVP, Golf of Snowflake Classic. Recipes, Dr. Selly. MVP, That's my school, Jack. MVP, my junior year. Yeah. For my school. MVP, my senior year. 97 and 98. Yeah, back to back. You know what I'm saying? And so doing that. He got like a Shannon Bray story. Yeah. I feel like I was his. It's, it's yeah, yeah, but I but I know there's some things that I know you probably didn't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of guys you'll hear, they made this, they made that. No, it's different papers rate you differently. Right. So one paper you may be all city, one paper you may be all city honorable mention. One paper they may have you second team, one paper they might have you first team. You know Who you played but, against that was nice. Who I played against that was nice? Oh man, there's a lot. I could give you Like name name that's known by oh. by the by the not average fan. Somebody that's not average, like who who's the stars you play around? Um play the play with, or play, play with, with yeah. Uh, play around, I play with Abdul Mills, you know what I mean? I yeah. play with Carl Sanders. Somebody went far? Yeah, Abdul played overseas with the Providence. You know Anybody saying? went to the pros? You didn't play um, against him? Yeah, 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 yeah. I played against Larry Hughes, my Ooh. junior, but that's with the, when I was with the um with the Chos though. You know what I'm saying? But when I played with Gauchos, I, I wasn't the guy. And that's why I said, knowing what I know now, I should have never played with them. I should have played on a team where I could thrive. You know what I mean? Back then, you just, we was, I felt like we was taught wrong. We was taught you had to play with that, with those guys when you didn't have to. Because right. you'll go on a trip and you'll see somebody of your caliber going at guys that's supposed to be the big shit from the town. Right. And you saying, damn, I could do that. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And all you want to do is the opportunity to be seen. But what to back to what you said, Ego, um, what motivated me was, you know, I mean, you know, we all got egos where we from, was like saying, like, you don't know what the fuck you talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you ain't been like you ain't been where I've been. You ain't playing against these niggas that I'm playing against. You think he good? Cause you I felt like you would get the a lot of y'all would get the um, the watered down version. Like y'all not in the practices with us. Like, like for example, like when I played Gauchos, it was murder in that practice in gyms. So like you might think somebody good. And like when we done guarded him, I done guarded him already. I'm like, nah, that shit ain't gonna work. That's a the shit you talking about, he might could do twice. He ain't doing that shit ten times over here. So if you don't see it, you're not gonna believe me. But I'm not the guy to say he can only do it this amount of time. I'm just gonna show you when I play. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I play, I'm gonna show you this kid right here that's basic and unorthodox. We'll kill this well, razzle that. We'll kill this razzle yeah. dazzle dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I just always took pride in just being unorthodox and being myself. Yeah. Like I realized I had a funny shot. Like and you moved a lot of people wrong, and I'm yeah. one of them. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't like, never taken no it. You never did. Because no matter what, I'm heaven the next day, you try to help me. Yeah. <laughs> then I eventually, eventually talked you to playing with me. Yeah. You guys eventually took me to the chip and we won. But we, we had a lot of battles that yeah. night. Because yeah, you say, yo, Crino, why you taking me out? And I'm saying, yo, age, man, come on, man. <laughs> and, you know, we have, we'd be on the phone all good all night. Yeah. The next day, we right back to, you know, yeah. you just wanted me to understand that that wasn't what the game was about. Because I was all about the individual show. Right. And you was, trying, you was showing me that it's a team game, you know. And the way you win is the same way you win in life. You have to play a team game. Yeah. When you get caught up in individual stats and individual things, it takes you off course of the team goal. And nine times out of two, nine times out of ten, you're going to be a loser. So for anybody out here that's listening, it's always better to play team ball than to try to get individual stats. That's a honey. All day. <laughs> All day, bro. That's what you was teaching me in those moments. You know what I mean? But you know, at those times, I was just too young to see. But yeah, as yeah. I was going along and understanding, it's a team. And that's what makes Golden State so good. And Steph Curry is not the best player in the NBA. But on that team, right. it elevates him to be greater than what he could yeah, be. Because yeah. his team coincides him. Exactly. That's why they're so good. They're not relying on one person. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, you know what I mean? Like you just said, in life, basketball connected to life. Right. In life, when you got a strong team, it's hard to stop. It's hard to stop. It's, it's hard to stop. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Individuals by themselves don't last long. They don't. Or, 
They don't see they need their team, team until they get in turmoil. Yeah. So when they're in turmoil, now they're team. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't mind being Andre Kirkalinko. You can't mind being, you know what I mean? You can't, yo, real talk. Can't, everybody can't be LeBron. And hey, yo, hey, yo, I'm going to go there with you. Man. I'm going to touch yeah. you down real quick. Yeah. You can't mind being Eric Snow. You love Eric Snow. <laughs> I'm telling you, Eric Snow, Eric Snow no. is a good, no, 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 a no, good no, uh, no. Uh, uh, nucleus. No, no, no. I, do, I say that to say, um, you know, this my, gonna, I grew up here we do, we do, we got to get him. But this is my opinion. Yeah. You said, like, we look at a high school, college, Allen Iverson, that's not professional, right? Uh -huh. So he could be the one man show, right? Because that's entertainment, he bringing the high school money, he bringing the college money, right? But in the NBA, like he just said, it's about winning, right? right. So in order for him to win, you need, he, the way he played, he needed Eric Snow. Because he can't play with Ross Strickland playing like that. He's not going to play with Kenny Anderson playing like that. I'm going to give I'm naming New York City golf. He can't play 82 games with Stephon Marbury playing like that. Right? But you got somebody that's like, all right, well, you know what? You can play like that. I'm going to run the team. Eric Snow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guard the two guard, six, seven over here. Go ahead. You guard the point guard. Go ahead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't like a Bradley Bill. To John Wall. You see no, what I'm saying? No, but, but let me ask you this. Bradley Bill and John Wall couldn't get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I respect that. I know. Well, I said got to the Finals. I know. Well, right and then there. watch this. I know. Watch this. I'm going to go yeah. there with you. Yeah. I'm going to go there with you. Now, <laughs> now, now, Eric Snow leaves Allen Iverson, right? Yeah. Eric Snow go to the Finals again with Cleveland. Before Eric Snow got to Cleveland, they couldn't beat Detroit. Everybody paying, hold on. Everybody paying attention to LeBron James, right? Once again, razzle dazzle. Oh, he's with LeBron. I'm not taking away his his greatness, but he's leaving on LeBron though. No, 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 LeBron. no, 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 no He's a great role player. Right, but I however, have, watch yeah. this though. When you shut Chauncey Billups down, uh -huh. it allows LeBron James to dominate the game because you, Mr. Big Shot, ain't got no legs to come back on offense. Um, Chauncey, what? I can't really. LeBron could dominate with No, but he never this got bad. He never got, got out. Out. He never got you to the game. The only time he got to the finals was with, with that team was when Eric Snow was yeah. on there. Well, no, yeah. my point is yeah. I mean, listen, listen, listen. Until he did it with Kyrie. But no, 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 not LeBron. What yeah, I'm no. talking about, um, Eric Snow. No, no, no. What about Ella Gosses? No, yeah. um, no, 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 Credit I mean, for something that can't be right. I'm telling you, know, no, what I'm saying is, no, 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 what I'm saying is, no, listen, 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 what, I'm, what I'm saying is, before Eric Snow came to Philly, he went to the finals as a rookie, backing up Gary Payton and Nate McMillan. So if you don't even pay attention, you look at the 96 championship, Eric Snow was there. Yeah. he go to Philly, they take the ball, people don't even understand, they take the ball out of Iverson hand, put it in Snow hand, they become a playoff team. Yeah. When it was in Iverson's hand, it was lottery. But that's an argument, like, I get it. But that's an argument, like, Robert Horry, uh, Elijah Wong wouldn't have did it without Horry. No, that's not the same thing. No, that's not that's the same thing. Like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to When you say that Eric Stone was in a championship with Cleveland, he didn't win one with the Sixers. No, no, Eric Stone never won a championship. What I'm saying, though. When he went to the, he took out the finals. No, he went to but, the finals yeah, but, no, no, but Alan Iverson Cleveland. went to the finals one time. Eric Stone went three. Oh, he brought LeBron. He brought LeBron. No, no, no. What I'm saying, though, is Allen Iverson was great, but with Eric Snow, he was greater. When Eric Snow didn't play with Allen Iverson no more, he never got out the first round. When Eric Snow left Allen Iverson, Eric Snow went to the finals. So who the better player? Technically. LeBron or Iverson. No. What I'm you saying. You don't want him no, to be there. No, 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 no. Understand yeah. what I'm saying, right? LeBron couldn't beat Detroit. Eric Snow go there the first year, they beat Detroit. So you didn't go and give him the stats. No! Wins and losses. I can't argue with Wins stats. and losses. What he's telling you is Eric Snow takes a lot of responsibility yeah. off of he the does. superstar. Yeah, he's exactly he's a dirty work guy. Exactly you need your dirty work guy 
Do, that, do the dirty work to take yeah. the, the dirt off the superstar so he don't have to be so tired. Of because he is. Because I'm not. Chasing the best player around. Yeah, 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 yeah. That type of, you know what I'm saying? I know the rules. Right? Yeah. The same way um, Dirk Fisher came and saved Kobe. It'd be like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, right? Yeah, no, he's 6'3". But the same way Dirk Fisher saved um, Kobe Bryant. Because remember, Fisher left and went to the Warriors and you told him. Nah, nah. I'm gonna tell you how, I'm gonna tell you how he saved them. When, no, when, when Kobe had Swiss Parker, he was getting out of here. He First was round. Out of here. That's a fact. First round. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. So, soon as soon as Derek Fisher come back and go to the finals. You need the guy to take the you. pressure off you. The point guard is the ma major part of the team because he's controlling the tempo of the game. Yeah. He's getting you the ball where you need it at. And what makes Eric Snow so good is because Iverson doesn't have to guard the best player. Yeah, he he's going to do that because he's 6'4". Yeah, so six that's three. the major part. He's giving Iverson the, the energy he needs to be great in the fourth quarter. That's the same thing he did for LeBron. So instead of LeBron trying to, remember when LeBron had to play Chicago, he had to hold Derrick Rose. That was like nine and six, right? Eric Snow, nine yeah, and six. Yeah, nine crazy. He's a great contributor. Yeah. He's a great contributor. But, right. he's, a, but he's a winner. See, that's the difference. See, he's that's the difference between a, a, a entertainer and a winner. That's it, thank you. A winner wins. An entertainer, oh. entertainer yeah. can but possibly it, win. It depends on who you're talking to. Some winners win big. So, Someone has went big. So, six, seven rings out there. Huh. Who's that? Come on, you know Shaq, Kobe, they got they six didn't rings. They didn't win big. They Jordan, when they got six. If you, go, Jordan to the got six legs, rings. If you go to that, Scotty got six go rings. Go to Jordan. So without the, judge, let's go to yeah, Jordan. Absolutely. Without the right player, and the right player was Scotty Pippen, yeah, the guy player. that can take the pressure. You're going to be here all day doing those No, no we not. So, but. You go back and, and watch. Michael Jordan kept getting bumped just like yeah, yeah, yeah. those guys out there. Who would, would, would stop the beaver out alone? You can no. do those all day. No. <laughs> you can do this that is, all day. You know so I, I, I never that. heard the analogy with, uh, with Eric Snow Iverson. That was the first time yeah, I got yeah, here. No, so no, no. no, no first time no, I what I'm saying is, right, like you just said, winning and entertaining. If Eric Snow don't come run that team for Philly, right, you see what happened once Iverson got traded. What'd he do? Out the league, two good years though. Two, uh, what? Two years in Denver? No, not even, not even. He did a year and a half in Denver. Then they traded him to Detroit, and in Detroit they tell him, "Yo, you can't shoot twenty times over here." Yeah, but he I don't know what happened. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What you mean? I don't know what happened. Hold on, time out. They, they kind of like blackboard. Nah, they they did. Hold on, hold on, hold All on. Right. Yeah. Hold on. Watch this. This is basketball, man. And yeah. I love Allen Iverson, yeah. right? Because Ram, Ram gonna be like, when I break it down, Ram gonna be like, see, you got somebody with Iverson. No, I love Iverson, but I, I know basketball. Yeah. Yo, how you go to a team with Rasheed Wallace, Rip Hamilton, Tayshawn Prince, right? Yeah. But you want to play the two. You can't run that team? You got the skill set. That was after the Trump running championship? Yeah. They traded Chauncey the for Allen. Yeah. Denver get Chauncey <laughs> to go to the Western Conference Finals. And the whole team was Detroit still get Allen, they lose in the first round. Hey, y'all talking about his back hurt, so he ain't play. So they said, all right, cool, we about to be a free agent. We ain't resign you. Nobody called them the whole summer. They get a call from Memphis to say, yo, man, you're going to back up OJ Mayo and Conley. In Memphis. And he said, what? I'm not doing that. All right, you out the league, Jack. And that's what I'm saying. So, so because you can't shoot twenty Damn. times a game, think That's about tough. it. Right. Because you can't shoot twenty times a game, do what you just said. They ain't letting them play ball. Well, I got a gun. You're gonna let me shoot twenty times a game. What about all those other guys in the league that got gun? They can't shoot twenty times a game. They're telling them, "Yo, you are gonna play forty eight minutes? You are gonna play twenty four minutes, and you might get eight shots, but you still gotta be effective." That's why AI probably like I'm really nice. Like, hold on, so wait, wait, wait. So the guy that's playing 24 minutes only getting eight shots ain't really nice because you know who that was at one point? That was Kobe. The guy that only got 24 minutes I'm not saying, and eight shots. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. What, what was it? 24 what? 24 minutes, which is half the game. And eight shots. And eight so shots. that's why he got his number like that? No. 24 and eight? <laughs> what if that's no, why Kobe got no, his number? No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying like he had the Now nah, you can't say no because you don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm saying though is how we know like, he, he actually had to start off like that. Like, all right, I'm only going to play half the game, and I might get eight shots, but I got to make it work. 
Whereas AI, he used to give you 30 shots whenever he want. Then they tell him, yo, look, look, look. Then, then they tell him, yo, you can't shoot 20 times over there. And you ain't going to play 48 minutes. Because remember in Philly, he was playing with Larry Brown. He was playing for, he led the league in minutes and points. He was playing 46, 47 minutes a game. Right. Shooting 40, 30 times. Now you go somewhere where other people can play and say, hey, look, don't shoot 20 times, bro. Pass the ball and play in a system. I can't play. I can't play like this. Huh? That's an entertainer or a winner. Right. And that's the same thing in life. A yeah. lot of people entertain, but they don't win. There you go. And the win is financial security, house, not the, the best watch, not the chain, not the cars, because those things doesn't be able to justify you when you leave. Only thing that becomes an asset. I don't know. I might have been shot just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> the, way you, the way a person sounds the way they sound, man. People do what they want to do. Materialistically, but having shit together, life insurance, do what you right. <clears throat> but don't think because I, I got one on it that, you know what I mean? <clears throat> nah, I'm not trying to compensate man. <clears throat> I get busy. And, <clears throat> and, I, and I can prove it. You know what I mean? Well, I got, I got my business established. <clears throat> Real estate, house, everything. That's so, cool. I don't know, just in case it was slick. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I play. That's how I play ball. That's how I play ball. Yeah, yeah. And that's my brother, but that, you know, that's how I play ball. <laughs> I caught that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this is fun. This is fun. Yeah. I think, I think, I think. And hey, yo, man, so what's, what you see? Where do you see? What's your next move, bro? Um. My next move after the restaurant was, situation. Oh, the restaurant? No, after that. Like, what's beyond that? Because you got other like, ideas. The restaurant, yeah. Uh, what I what I'm doing is uh, relaunch like a book series. I'm gonna do a book series, like a five book series. I got a two book deal on the table. Mm -hmm. They're working out the um, functions now with. Uh, what else going on? We got the oh, app. We got the uh, the app. We got an app coming out. App coming out. Blah, 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 blah. It's gonna be you know like a gaming app. A gaming app, so um, we, we that's really the, the, the direction that we're going. Los always say this too. Let's go digital. I've been saying this since you came home. Let's go digital, bro. So that's what we're doing. So I know, I know when um, when y'all was on the synthesis, I remember hearing y'all talk about ebooks. That was the same the same vibe. Those the one that put me on the digital path. Okay. Those put me on the digital path. They told me, bro, this is how you gotta do it, bro. Uh -huh. Let's go digital. You get rich. Nobody wants your digital money. Mm -hmm. I said, wow. I know, blah, blah, blah. Now I see it. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to you. Shout out to hello. That's my guy. That's my guy. So, that, since then, like, it been up. So, it been up. It been stuck since then. So, we just doing it on one app at a time. And, you know, looking for that big buyout. All right. So, when they come for that bad 350 M's, and then we can really talk. Like, yeah, but this is this is lifestyle forever, bro. Like, or generational wealth. Hey, you know what I mean? We're just skipping a lot. Huh? Skipping a line. I'm not sitting there waiting That's for somebody to feed me. I'm not sitting I'm not calling action for help. I'm not nah, I'm skipping the line. Right. It is it's, it's time. Two four nine. It's time to shine me in my clue. Come on, you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> it's time to shine me in my clicker genuine. But that's what we do, bro. We've been, we've been doing this forever, bro. Doing wrong. Doing wrong. Oh, okay. In the end we all shine. <laughs> That was the anthem. Uh, that was the anthem. That was the anthem. Say the anthem again. Yeah, it's time to shine. Me and my clique is genuine. Legit are doing some rhymes in the end. We all shine. What it's, time is it? It's, it's two, two four, four nine. nine. What time is it? Yeah, it's, it's two, two four, four nine. nine. It's, it's time, time to shine. shine. Me and my clique is genuine. Legit are doing rhymes in the end. We all shine. Schism verse. Schism for all it. You dirty and it's wide. Ain't hanging on that thin line. Your great incarcerated, let my die free of schism was a beast. Yeah, and he's yeah. still a beast. That's what I'm saying. Hip hop needs that, like you were saying earlier, we were speaking on camera. Mm -hmm. Hip hop needs that new generational, uh, or old generational appearance yeah. in music, bro. Because how, why when it comes to hip hop, you can't grow old with your audience? Yeah. Why is it that in hip hop, I gotta retire at 25? Right. Oh, you 32, you a whole head. Nobody wanna hear that. Oh, why y'all wanna listen to me? Right. I can teach you so. That's a fact. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so that's how you gotta talk shout to me. Shout out to Future and shout out to L. They got some good music that they be cooking.
something up too. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I'm coming up on TV in two weeks. He said he gonna rap too. And I got balls. And he got some. And I got balls. I like they sound together. So you know, shout out to those brothers. You know, if anybody out there, you know. Check him out. He on the Instagram, Mr. One. I'm gonna put them on the app. I'm gonna put them on the app. No, I got the, I got the CeeLo app. We got CeeLo, Scully. Remember Scully? Yeah. We got the Double Dutch app. You gotta get Lowe's in here. Call Lowe's. Lowe's some from the camera. Yeah, we're gonna bring yeah. you back. What, <laughs> what, yeah, what yeah, are you yeah, doing? Yeah. You're bringing us back. So imagine when you bring the, the Double Dutch app. Well, the Don Sellers. Huh? That's gonna be fine when you bring the Double, oh, the double Dutch app. Yeah. Scully too. Scully. Yeah, Scully. Yeah, Scully. We used to love Scully. Yeah. Yeah, so you got CeeLo right so, I would, you know, bro, zoom you in. You know what would be so good if that dude take off in the dude launch? It will give this generation a chance to view how we grew up as kids. What made us get by? Mm -hmm. We didn't have tablets. We didn't have Instagram. Right. So these are the games that we had to play to make us get through the day. You know what I mean? Right. So hopefully, you know what I mean? The Skellies, the Coco Levy. They can come back, right? Right. Now imagine that if, if, if Coco Levy was a, a sport, for real. Real talk. Yo, that was amazing. Imagine if the Double Dutch was a sport, because that takes a talent. You have to know how to jump through two ropes at a certain speed. Well, they got contests. This is a lot to it. It's a lot to it. They got double dutch contests. They, they do, but contest. it's not at the height as it was it back then. It's not professional sports, right? It is. I think they get bags. They don't get bad to do. They had the uh the sitcom. Damn, my lady used to watch. I used to watch. I watched it before too. I mean, I don't know. I watched it with her. Yeah, she got the. I remember watching. Yeah, but I, you know, I was real sleepy. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. But that's real, bro. Imagine if she had they all on my mind. Nah, you good? You cursing? Yeah, it's cool TV. Okay, we lit. Cool TV. So, so yeah, bro. So I got the the signal app. Oh. Scully Double Dutch. Uh, we got uh, the book deal. Mm -hmm. We got the sitcom called The Folks. The it, Folks. Yeah, it's called The Folks. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, you know, we we just got to talk to um, like you know, the bros. I can't name drop. Yeah, I can name, yeah, I can name drop. Yeah. So yeah, I got we got um Shannon Briggs. We got Shannon Briggs coming up, and, and we got the Shannon Briggs coming, the story coming, the documentary. Uh -huh. We got Kevin Hart and the work with Kevin Hart Productions. Oh so we we trying to work. Um, we got movies, we got books, we got sitcoms, we got uh, uh, uh what's those other ones? What they said? The series. Yeah, the series. He said the series. We got the series. We got the two four nine. We got the podcast. And we got the Kevin Hart Pure. What what is all that? Coming Kevin to? Hart H and, and Shannon on there, and we're gonna try to bring that together. That's and right. You heard, you heard, heard, that's heard, H, you heard H. That's right. Huh? What is all that going to be coming through? What this is this is 2023. No, what? Oh, everybody, see, everybody, like when we do, when we do, everybody has their own corporation. So being at uh, the LLC, what's the name of your corporation? Uh, uh, Phenomenal Media. So most of that going to be trying to go. I got a couple of. Well, I'll say it again. So what's the name of my corporation? I got an LLC, Phenomenal Media. Group. Phenomenal Media, okay. LLC. And, okay. Yeah, as far as that, that you know, they can send me to check it off the hook. Nah, I cater. <laughs> you know what I mean? It don't matter what they send the check. Let's get so, paid. So you know, this part one of this interview, but we got a lot, a lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah, and, it's part know, one, baby. I want y'all to stay in tune because you know, we got a lot of good things on the work. We got a lot of good things to make, and you know what I mean. You know, we wanted to leave the people with something to think about. And you know, it was good that we did this. You know what I mean? It's good that we did this. Yeah. You know, we all from the same building. We still alive. We still here. And we still able to somehow keep our grace and our personality. We still the kids. You That's see what I'm saying? So it's so beautiful to have me in crime on your show, Cool TV. And um, I don't know. You got anything else you want to ask us? Nah, man. Cause it's time to get back to the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, thanks for coming out, fellas, man. <laughs> hey yo, part two coming soon, man. Yo, shout out to the 249 family. Shout out to the whole nine. Shout out to Off the Hook. Shout out to Triangle Dreams. Shout out to Juices 101. Shout cool out to TV. the Synthesis. Yeah. Shout out to Cool TV. And shout out to any other endeavors we have coming in the near future. Peace and love, fellas. I'm about to make some donuts. <laughs>